In a very simple way, I'm going to show you geometrically that infinities and finite system are actually complementary. If we take the boundary of a circle and we define that as our finite space, now that circle could be a sphere. And we divide that circle so that uh, a triangle is formed in it, an equilateral triangle in this case. Now, the universe is polarized. Everything in the universe seems to spin, so spin produces polarity, so we would have a reverse triangle at the same time. As soon as we do this, now we've created a new boundary condition at the next fractal level down, the next iteration down. Now, notice that these new boundaries all are centered around a very specific center. That is, each of the boundary defines a very specific structure in space-time, a very specific coordinate in space-time. And so each of the boundary could be defined as a very specific set of information. Now I can continue to divide the space to produce new boundary conditions. Now I've got another iteration down and another set of information. Now I can continue to do this and create new boundaries again. And at this point, you can imagine that if I give this to my computer, it could zoom in, bring it back up, continue to divide the space, zoom in, bring it back up, continue to divide the space, and it could do this to infinity. However, I would never, ever, ever, ever exceed that first boundary I've produced for myself. So here, I've embedded infinite amount of divisions, infinite amount of information within the confine of a finite space. So in very simple terms here, I've shown to you that infinities and finite structures are complementary that within the confine of what appears to be a finite space can be embedded infinite amount of information. And if this is true, this simple concept could change all of our concepts of physics, including our concepts of our relationship to the universe.